Hi friends, today we're doing Unit 7, Lesson 6, Galaxies and Stars. We're going to start by going over the key vocabulary words that you'll be hearing in today's reading. The first word is galaxy, a very large cluster of billions of stars, dust and gas held together by gravity, and separated from other star systems by a large amount of space. Our next word is astronomer, a scientist who studies stars, planets, and outer space. Our next word is billion, a, lar a very large number. Our next term is Milky Way galaxy, the galaxy that contains Earth and the solar system in which it lies. Our next term is Andromeda galaxy, the spiral galaxy that is closest to the Milky Way. We are now going to move into today's reading. Chapter 6, Galaxies and Stars. Look up in the sky at night. What do you see besides the moon? If it is not cloudy, you may be able to see lots of stars glittering in the sky. Remember that the sun is also a star. The stars in the night sky do not look like the sun. They do not look as, as big or as bright, but they are in fact very much alike. The stars in the night sky are big balls of hot gas, just like the sun. So why don't they look the same? The night stars are much, much farther away from Earth than the sun. That is why they look like tiny specks of light. If we could get close to the stars, they would look bigger, brighter, and more like the sun. But the stars we see at night are so far away that no one from Earth has ever been able to get close to them. Scientists who study the stars in outer space are called astronomers. The Greek word astron means star. The prefix astro is used in many other English words. All stars are big balls of hot gas. But astronomers have discovered that stars differ in many ways. Stars can be different sizes and colors, some stars are closer to Earth than others, and some stars are hotter than others. Stars that are the hottest and closest to Earth appear brighter than other stars. Astronomers also discovered that star clusters together in large groups. A large group of stars that cluster together in one area is called a galaxy. There are billions and billions of stars in one galaxy. There's a lot of stars. The galaxy to which our sun and solar system belong is called the Milky Way galaxy. It has a spiral shape when viewed from space. From Earth, it looks like a milky band of white light. The nearest spiral galaxy to the Milky Way galaxy is called the Andromeda galaxy. It is billions and billions of miles from the Milky Way galaxy. You've probably heard of a million before. A million is a huge number, so what's a billion? It's 1,000 million. It is safe to say that the Andromeda galaxy is a long, long, long way away. Even so, it is sometimes possible to see the Andromeda galaxy at night. Scientists think there are billions of galaxies in the universe. There's that number billions again. There are billions of stars in each galaxy and billions of galaxies in the universe. That is almost more than you can think about. This is the Andromeda Galaxy. You may now move on to Unit 7, Lesson 6, Google Form.